American English Street Talk. Slang words for body parts and underwear. Warning, there may be some bad words in this one. This is an intermediate English lesson on slang words for underwear and sexy body parts. Hi, my name is Melissa and I am an English teacher. I have been an English teacher for 24 years. This is an intermediate to upper intermediate channel on lesson plans for all things English. English vocabulary, slang idioms and street talk, grammar of course, and stories in English. Let's dive in. That means Let's begin immediately to dive in. Underwear slang. Let's begin with her. So we have a bra. Well, the bra is short for the word brasier, which is a French word that we have incorporated into English. But we're a little bit lazy in English, so we shorten our words. So we say bra. Bra is the most popular way to express that which she wears to support her breasts. Now you have a training bra, which is really for the young, the young girl who is just growing a little bit and needs a little bit of support, and it's her introduction to wearing bras. We have the sports bra, which is for the sporty woman who um, gets full support uh, when she's jogging with this bra, so it pulls everything in tight. And we have a push-up bra, of course, the push-up bra is the sexy bra. It's the one that sort of pushes everything up and into the center and makes everything look round. Now, the other way that happens is with an underwire bra. The underwire bra is for large-breasted women who, of course, need that extra support. So they need a piece of metal that is underneath the bra to keep the heavy breasts in place, the underwire bra. Continuing under the theme of underwear slang for her, here is a picture of that push-up bra that we were talking about, and it's an image complimentary of pixabay.com. So here's the question that uh, is associated with women's breasts. What size are you? That also means, or the other question is, how big are you? Are you an A cup? Are you a B cup? Are you a C cup? Or are you a D cup? Or are you in the double Ds? You can imagine the A cup is the smallest cup. The cup is the, the part that covers the woman's breast. And then the D, double D cup is an enormous cup. Well, because she's got enormous breasts. Underwear slang for her. So now we're talking about the panties, the, the shorts you wear under your jeans, the, the little undies, panties. We have many words for them. So undies is pretty cute and familiar. Panties also cute and familiar. G-string would be sexy and thong too because those represent the very tiny little panties with just one string or a very small thing in the back. And then of course, this is a picture of a G-string or a thong. These, these, this picture courtesy of pixabay.com is of lacy thongs. And I want to leave you with one more slang kind of cute word and that is drawers. That's very common. It's for boys and girls drawers. I can see your drawers. That means I can see your underwear. More underwear slang for her. So this time we're going to talk about lingerie. Lingerie is a word that English has borrowed from French. So it's really a French word and now it's an English word, and it means women's underwear and night clothes. But there's a sexy note to it. It's not just any women's underwear and night clothes, it's the pretty ones, the sexy ones. And there's another word called a nighty. We say nighty, which is slang for night dress or nightgown, and that is a little dress that women wear to bed to sleep in. 
Which then brings us to the most famous nighttime wear called PJs. This is slang for pajamas. Everybody wears pajamas. It's your favorite thing to put on in winter when it's cold. And so pajamas actually are for men, women, children, grandma, grandpa, everybody wears pajamas and they're usually soft and warm for the winter time. Now for underwear slang for him. So just like her, he can wear undies too. And he can wear drawers too, just like she can. And he can wear a G-string or a thong just like she can. Now, it's not as common for a man to wear G-string, but they do, they can, if they like those tiny little string at the back of the underwear. But words that are specific just to him, to his underwear would be briefs and boxers. Just like in the picture here, he is wearing briefs or boxers. Boxers is a more common word. And then, then you have those little white underwear that little boys usually wear, or older men too wear them, and they're called the little white underwear. It, the slang word for them is tidy whiteies. We don't really like them because we don't think they're sexy. Moving on to slang words for body parts. Here's a very common American street talk word called six pack. She has a six pack, six pack. That refers to the, 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 the strong muscles in your stomach that are ripped. She's got very strong um, washboard type stomach. And so there is the introduction of the other word, a washboard, which is slang also. So he has a six pack, she has a six pack. They have washboards. Sexy body part slang for her. So we'll look at the front. First, we're gonna talk about slang words for breasts. So the women, when you talk about their breasts, breasts is a very formal word and it's, it's fine, you can use it. But if you want slang words, we would use words like um, chest or a rack. A rack is, is like they're sitting on a rack. Titties. Titties is a very common um, slang word. It's a little bit bad, a little bit um, sassy or cheeky. And then boobies. Boobies is pretty calm, pretty um, fair. It's not a very bad word. You could say boobies. Little children might say boobies, in fact. But if these are all slang words for her chest, but then we had slang words for her behind too, her, her bum, her ass, a booty, a bum, a trunk. So those are slang words for her derriere. Now for sexy body parts, slang words for him. For a man, when we talk about his behind, we will use pretty much just two words, ass and bum. Unlike all those words you have for the woman's behind, we really just use two for his, ass and bum. But we have many, many words for penis slang. And in this case, I'm only gonna introduce to you most of the, the most common ones that are pretty cute and safe, not really bad words, except the last word is a little bit bad. So here we have my member. That's what a man can say. This is my member when he talks about his penis. Or you could say his pecker, his pecker, his willy. This is a British English word. It's very informal and safe. His willy, the family jewels is a pretty cute slang expression that refers to the whole package down there. His family jewels. And the word that is a little bit bad is his dick. Now for slang words for the aroused penis. That means when it's up, when it's big. So there are two very common expressions. One is a hard-on. He has a hard-on. To have a hard-on or to get a hard-on. He's got a hard-on. He's He has a hard-on. Both work. The number two expression is a boner. To have a boner, to get a boner. So here's the examples. He has a heart on, or he has a boner, or he's got a heart on, or he's got a boner. The verbs have and got both work. 
And last but not least, that's an expression, of course, that means the last one, but not the least important one, are pregnant expressions. She has a baby bump. She has a bun in the oven. These are very cute expressions for pregnant women. And of course, the verb to breastfeed. So when she feeds the baby with her breast, the verb is to breastfeed. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you would like to see more videos like this, then hit the subscribe button. And I thank you for watching a video by Melissa Carroll, my English teacher.